Introduction Neurology is a branch of medicine that is dedicated to the study and treatment of disorders and diseases that affect the nervous system. One particular area of interest within neurology is Korsakoff syndrome, a neurological disorder characterized by severe memory deficits. In this detailed script, we will explore various aspects of Korsakoff syndrome, including the role of thiamine, vitamin B1, in neurologic function, the consequences of thiamine deficiency in Korsakoff syndrome, and the neuroanatomical basis of memory formation. Thiamine, also known as vitamin B1, is an essential nutrient that plays a crucial role in a variety of neurologic functions. It is involved in glucose metabolism within the brain, facilitating the production of ATP, the primary energy source for neurons. Thiamine is also vital for the synthesis of neurotransmitters, such as acetylcholine, which are necessary for proper neuronal communication. In the context of Korsakoff syndrome, a chronic thiamine deficiency can lead to significant neurological consequences. The most notable manifestation is severe memory impairment, both in the form of anterograde amnesia, the inability to form new memories, and retrograde amnesia, the loss of previously formed memories. Other symptoms include confabulation, a tendency to create false memories, and executive dysfunction, affecting problem-solving and decision-making abilities. Alcoholism is a major risk factor for developing thiamine deficiency and subsequently developing Korsakoff syndrome. Chronic alcohol consumption interferes with thiamine absorption and utilization, leading to inadequate thiamine levels in the body. Additionally, alcohol acts as a diuretic, further exacerbating thiamine depletion through increased urinary excretion. Furthermore, alcoholism often leads to poor nutritional status, as many affected individuals prioritize alcohol consumption over proper nutrition. Malnutrition worsens thiamine deficiency, as thiamine-rich foods are often neglected in an alcoholic's diet. This coexistence of alcoholism and malnutrition significantly increases the risk of developing Korsakoff syndrome. Memory formation is a complex process that involves various brain regions, with the limbic system and diencephalon playing pivotal roles. The limbic system, consisting of structures such as the hippocampus and amygdala, is responsible for encoding and consolidating new memories. The diencephalon, especially the thalamus, is involved in memory retrieval and recollection processes. In individuals with Korsakoff syndrome, neuroimaging studies have revealed structural abnormalities in these memory-related brain regions. The hippocampus, in particular, may display atrophy, compromising its ability to form new memories. The mammillary bodies, located within the diencephalon, are also commonly affected, showcasing significant pathology and contributing to the hallmark symptoms of Korsakoff syndrome. Neuroimaging techniques, such as magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, have provided valuable insights into the regions of the brain affected in Korsakoff syndrome. The mammillary bodies, located in the posterior hypothalamus, often show clear signs of atrophy. This atrophy is considered a hallmark feature of Korsakoff syndrome and aids in differentiating it from other memory disorders. Additionally, the dorsomedial thalamus, which connects the mammillary bodies with the hippocampus, may also exhibit damage in individuals with Korsakoff syndrome. Disruptions in this circuitry further contribute to memory deficits and confabulatory behaviors seen in affected individuals. Wernicke encephalopathy is a severe neurological condition often preceding the development of Korsakoff syndrome. It is characterized by a triad of symptoms, confusion, ataxia, loss of coordination, and ophthalmoplegia, paralysis of eye muscles. These symptoms arise due to thiamine deficiency and can be attributed to lesions in specific brain areas, including the thalamus, mammillary bodies, and periaqueductal gray matter. If left untreated, Wernicke encephalopathy can progress to Korsakoff syndrome, underscoring the importance of early recognition and intervention. Neuroimaging plays a crucial role in the diagnosis and characterization of Korsakoff syndrome. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, has consistently shown characteristic findings of mammillary body atrophy, often bilaterally, in affected individuals. This atrophy is pathognomonic for Korsakoff syndrome and is considered a reliable marker in the absence of other confounding factors. Furthermore, MRI may reveal additional structural abnormalities in the limbic system, including hippocampal volume loss or signal changes. These neuroimaging findings not only aid in diagnosis but also contribute to our understanding of the neuroanatomical basis of Korsakoff syndrome. Thiamine deficiency exerts a deleterious effect on brain metabolism and function. Without sufficient thiamine, the brain's ability to utilize glucose as an energy source is compromised, leading to energy deficits that preferentially affect energy-demanding processes, such as memory formation and synaptic transmission. Moreover, thiamine is a coenzyme involved in critical enzymatic reactions related to neurotransmitter synthesis and maintenance of cellular integrity. 
Thiamine deficiency disrupts these crucial processes, impairing neuronal communication and overall brain function. Understanding the pathophysiological consequences of thiamine deficiency sheds light on the underlying mechanisms of Korsakoff syndrome. Retrograde amnesia refers to the loss of memories that were formed before the onset of amnesia. In the context of Korsakoff syndrome, retrograde amnesia can extend back several years, affecting both recent and remote episodic memories. This amnesia disrupts a person's ability to recall important life events, impacting personal identity and overall quality of life. Anterograde amnesia, on the other hand, refers to the inability to form new memories following the onset of amnesia. This hallmark feature of Korsakoff syndrome hampers an individual's ability to learn new information, significantly impairing day-to-day -day functioning and independence. Distinguishing Korsakoff syndrome from other forms of amnesia is crucial for proper diagnosis and targeted management. While Korsakoff syndrome primarily arises due to thiamine deficiency, other conditions, such as Alzheimer's disease and traumatic brain injury, TBI, can also present with memory deficits. The careful examination of clinical features, neuroimaging findings, and patient history allows for differentiation between these conditions. Differentiating factors include the presence of confabulation, the temporal pattern of memory loss, and the characteristic neuroimaging findings associated with Korsakoff syndrome. While alcoholism represents a significant risk factor for developing Korsakoff syndrome, it is essential to recognize that other etiologies can contribute to its development. Genetic predispositions, such as polymorphisms in genes involved in thiamine transport or metabolism, can render individuals more susceptible to thiamine deficiency and subsequent Korsakoff syndrome. Additionally, non-alcohol-related causes, such as chronic malnutrition, gastrointestinal disorders, and certain medications interfering with thiamine absorption, can also result in thiamine deficiency and the subsequent development of Korsakoff syndrome. Understanding these etiological factors is crucial for appropriate prevention and management strategies. Accurate diagnosis of Korsakoff syndrome relies on a comprehensive approach that considers various diagnostic tools. Patient history plays a pivotal role, as identifying risk factors, such as chronic alcoholism or nutritional deficiencies, helps guide the diagnostic process. Physical examination may reveal signs of peripheral neuropathy or other sequelae of thiamine deficiency. Neuropsychological testing is indispensable for assessing memory deficits, executive function impairments, and confabulation tendencies. Additionally, neuroimaging studies, such as MRI, aid in confirming the diagnosis and ruling out other potential causes of amnesia. The management of Korsakoff syndrome requires a multidisciplinary approach. Thiamine supplementation is a cornerstone of treatment, aiming to replenish thiamine levels and mitigate further neurological damage. Alcohol cessation is equally critical, as continued alcohol consumption exacerbates thiamine deficiency and hinders recovery. Cognitive rehabilitation techniques, including memory retraining and compensatory strategies, help individuals cope with memory deficits and improve overall functionality. Psychosocial support also plays an essential role in addressing the emotional and social impacts of Korsakoff syndrome on patients and their families. In conclusion, Korsakoff syndrome is a debilitating neurological disorder characterized by severe memory deficits resulting from chronic thiamine deficiency. Alcoholism represents a major risk factor for the development of thiamine deficiency, further exacerbated by poor nutritional status. Neuroimaging studies have elucidated structural abnormalities, particularly in the mammillary bodies and dorsomedial thalamus, implicated in memory impairment. Understanding the pathophysiological consequences of thiamine deficiency enhances our comprehension of Korsakoff syndrome. Distinguishing it from other forms of amnesia is crucial for proper management. Diagnostic strategies encompass patient history, physical examination, neuropsychological testing, and neuroimaging studies. Therapeutic approaches include thiamine supplementation, alcohol cessation, and cognitive rehabilitation techniques. By adopting a multidisciplinary approach to management, we aim to alleviate the symptoms of Korsakoff syndrome and improve the quality of life for affected individuals.